Greetings and welcome to episode 24 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Spain campaign and this my friends that we left it last time where we had a terrific fight my friends to take Vienna and indeed hold against a sustained Dutch assault. Now let's just have a quick summary my friends of what's happened the last couple of years here in this campaign we took Vienna from the Austrians it was a brutal battle it really was but we succeeded in taking Austria and then we quickly found out that once the Dutch had taken Hungary, as you can see, the Dutch have absolutely run rampant here in the Central Europe. They really have, pushing even into the East here and her taking Hungary. That as soon as they took Hungary and, and as soon as we took Vienna, which quite clearly was a key objective here for the Dutch, that was the, the goal, the jewel in the crown they were aiming for here because they absolutely threw everything they could here to move very, very quickly against most of the... Austrian sort of cities they took Berlin they've taken they took Prague Vienna was quite clearly going to sort of be the the cherry on the top of the icing here for the Dutch but because we took that they declared war upon us they attempted to besiege Vienna and try and wrestle it from us but we held my friends but it was a brutal battle and that can be shown within the casualties as you can see I mean look at this my friends we took an absolute hammering here we really did let us not absolutely let's not put it let's not rose tint this let's not sugarcoat this my friends it was a brutal battle we lost a staggering amount of troops particularly this army here as you can see i mean look at this although we have managed to replenish it we have managed to bring in the additional troops here to sort of really stiffen the resolve here of the defenders subsequently we have also a rebellion here as you can see a rebel austrian rebels have appeared out of the mists here and the rebellion is quite deep at the moment. Minus seven here, as you can see, the public order of the lower classes. So we have to be very, very careful here what we're doing. So we have to remove this rebellion very, very quickly indeed. We've also got a substantial Austrian army still here loitering in Austria, what is now Spanish Austria. We also are at war with the Bavarians here. Now, luckily we have the Alps here, which is protecting our sort of back, our base here, as it were. We've got Genoa here. We've got our ally with the French, which is always good to see because this does give us a, an extra layer of protection but as you can see this alpine pass here is a a real problem for us here this is why we have to tie down this army here i mean look at that that is nothing short of magnificent it really is and we've also had a stiffen it here with some grenadiers we've also put some fusiliers in here as well which is absolute wonder to see we've only got 12 pounders here plenty of cuirassiers and also regiment of horse here as well now we were it would council were calling for us to maybe swap out some of these units <coughs> for some mortars. I'm not sure can we get mortars at the moment. No, we can't indeed. But we might might possibly get some twelve pounders here. We are actually recruiting another grenadiers. We're looking to put another army together here, but the army will be absolutely an elite army here. We're going to put together a, an army of absolute wonderful units. It really is. Either to strike and wrap around through this Alpine Pass here, maybe take Bavaria, maybe even to move against Stuttgart itself. As you can see, Stuttgart is the last vanguard here of Austrian presence within Europe, apart from here Transylvania, which they currently hold here, Klausenberg here. But again, they'd have to come through Dutch and Ottoman territory to reach Croatia, which is the nearest stopping point for them. But our main priority <coughs> is to secure Vienna. We will not be relinquishing Vienna without a fight, if at all, my friends. And believe me, it will cost the Dutch dear if they wish to take this from us. Now, as you can see, let's have a look here. Our economy is not too bad at all. It's quite robust. We're, so I'd say, 10,000 gold down here. So as much to, to sort of our army upkeep is 10,000 more than it is our tax income but luckily we've got trade still coming in here we've got other as well some of course from other sort of diplomatic resources available to us as you can see here this does pretty much match what we just said 10,000 difference here primarily here the are uh, the navy upkeep is quite exceptional as well to be honest with you 3,000 we don't have a lot of ships so that proves how expensive the actual naval facilities are at the moment for us now we have low tax rate here and you can see Austria is not happy with us at all. We do have some wonderful ministers. We have an absolute buffoon though of a king. It really is a scandal there, this king. Popularity is actually going up here, which is good to see. We have some wonderful candidates here as well. Maximiano Rodriguez, industrial revolutionary and an agrar agrarian as well. Control of works. So really, oh, this, this, this is a fine minister here. But the treasury minister we have here 
is equally as good. Look at that controller. But mind you, minus four bonus, but it's plus two to two management for treasury. So again, it's 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 give and take in, in both ways. We've got a mistress here, but that's plus one for happiness and nobility. Stall holder as well, plus one for treasury. So at the moment we have here Alfredo Rivera, uh, Imod Keda, who's a lot lower chance at the moment. So we'll keep him. Uh, Pablo de la Renne is not really up to the task here at all, especially morally impaired. What he gives in one hand, he takes away with the other. Pious and a tactician. But this gentleman here, Maxim Maximiano Rodriguez, is wonderful. Ricardo Caello, again, he would be good for the Navy, but then again, we have an exceptional naval Lord High Admiral here, which is wonderful to see. And trade, as you can see here, America has been completely cut off. Uh, Great Britain has been cut off from us as well, because, as you can see here, excuse the lag there a little bit, my friends, the Austrians have besieged this port here of Cadiz and cut off all of our income from Britain and indeed from our overseas territories. We still have, luckily, we've still got a good amount coming in and flowing out as well from these here, particularly from the Ottomans, who are a major trading nation of ours. <clears throat> and so is the Crimean Khanate. We do have trading relations with also Sweden, as well as you can see here, coming out like a Sweden bringing 33,000 in there. It's a huge amount. Sweden have actually gotten St. Petersburg and Karelia here under their control, which is a resounding success for them, it really is. We've got a little bit of lag here, my friends. I'm not sure quite why that is. Um, possibly just a little bit of a glitch here. But we are, and I can absolutely guarantee you that we will be attacked by the Dutch very, very soon here. The first thing we must do, though, is remove this rebellion, which we're going to do. We're going to use this force here to do so. Let's move in here, my friends. Gentlemen. I think we can probably all resolve this one, but <clears throat> it would bring in troops from here as well, which we don't really need to do here. And I think we'll take this battle ourselves and rid ourselves of these foes. Let's take this fight, my friends. Let's r rid ourselves of this rebellion once and for all. <clears throat> Let's put this rebellion to death. Then we can focus on bringing that army back in defense of Vienna. We will not give Vienna up without a fight. Mark my words, it will cost the Dutch dear to take Vienna from us. Because they will attack us. Have absolutely no doubts, my friends. They will attack us. So we're going to put this rebellion to bed quickly. Move that force back. And then from there, we shall then start to hopefully try and reinforce as best we can here. But my word, it's going to be a difficult fight. It really is that that defence of Vienna, because remember, our troops aren't in the best condition at the moment. The re the re the reserves, the reinforcements haven't quite reached the front lines here. We have reached this sort of high tide mark. The Vienna is the high tide mark of our advance here. Quite clearly, it was really what the Dutch wanted. But we cannot and we will not give it up without a fight. And if at all, we will hold it. Believe my friends. Oh, oh, oh. it's dusk, but it's also that rain here. So look at the topography here of the of the battle, the battlefield. We've got a, a wide, very very wide battlefield here, my friends. But look at the look at the defence here. They're on this hill. It's going to be very difficult for us to manoeuvre here because of the not only the the sort of the, the layout of the slopes here, which has this ridged effect, but also the depth they have here. Defending on uh, on there is absolutely perfect for the Austrians. But we are going to move against them. Let's bring out. Oh, we've got one cavalry of horse here, which is probably going to be used to take out their their artillery. But we do need to dispatch, I believe, our finest troops here, which I think are going to be our grenadiers and our Spanish infantry, the marina, which are basically our Spanish marines. Now, quite clearly, the easiest route in here is our left flank there, right here. So, just for the moment, we're going to place them here before we can properly disseminate where we're going to put them. Then we need to pull back our own defensive forces here in case they move out against us. That's a good chat. We've got two guns here, but let's be honest here. It's not a massive amount of fire support, but we shall use everything at our disposal.
more like it. Now, we do have... We are going to combine these three regiments together just to give us ourselves some semblance here. Let's just switch these gentlemen over here. Let's put them in ranks of three. Let's at least look a little bit professional here. Now we've got, oh, we've got this one of regiment here actually. The 8th regiment which is a full complement regiment which is going to actually provide the backbone of our defence here. Then we'll have the 10th regiment. As you can see my friends we really are and the, the fierceness of that battle has become apparent here. Let's combine these two regiments together here. Not ideal. But we're going to have to sort of improvise. 22 men left in regiment of Desorio. We'll combine these three regiments here. The remains of these three regiments as you can see. That's a pretty sorry sight. But we're going to be the boast of what we got here. We're going to use our... We're going to leave the core of our army to attack. Unless they move against us, in which case, let's put the regiment here, the 50th Regiment of Fusil is right in here. Perfect, absolutely perfect. I mean, look at these, look at these fusiliers, aren't they an absolute joy to see? Look at that, sir. Now we need to probably move to the back and also move the guns back. We don't want to be hitting our own, our own troops. Now. Here is where the absolute real firepower is. Look at, oh my goodness me, look at these regiments of marines here. That, if that doesn't bring a tear to your eye, nothing will. Let's prepare ourselves here. We've also got grenadiers which are nothing short of magnet. Oh my goodness me, look at that. Look at that. Whew. An absolute joy to see, right. We're gonna we're gonna move on the left here and try and outflank them here. Let's hope. Perfect. Proceed to do. We don't want, gentlemen, slacking. And laziness will not be allowed within this army. It really will not. Mark my words, we will not accept that type of behaviour. Switch the round shot. Let's give them a good barrage. Now the cavalry is going to be used to strike. Let's see if we can use the cavalry to really offset that there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The place is going on here. Pandors have arrived. Keep going, gentlemen, keep going. can deal with this artillery, it will certainly be a boost. These marines will take care of them. Ah. 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 Of course they're wavering. <laughs> shattered, please, gentlemen. Shattered. Are they being shattered? Let's take the hill. Let's storm the hill. Let's move, gentlemen. Move up incrementally here. Put them to, 
let's put them to death here. We cannot allow this rebellion to succeed. We have to pull this army back immediately. It's going to be needed for the defense of Vienna. tend to do here to our enemies. Double time, Johnny, this is not a Sunday stroll. <laughs> Shattered, gone. Now the grenadiers are in place. Let's put an end to this rebellion once and for all. Of course, they're shaking, sir. They're rigging Spanish firepower. Bit by bit we will chip these to pieces. They've got marines here which we have to be very, very careful of. Put them to the sword, put them to the sword. some pressure here. No, oh, ten men will soon charge against this force here. Got to kill as many as we can here. We have to put this to to an end. Pull back, let's pull back. firing.
get them before they they reach that line, a retreat line. It's all the way back there. Get them, lads. Get them. These marines, we have to be wary of these marines. shall show them no reprieve so that any rebellion in the future they know what they're gonna face. Gentlemen, this is just this is a scandal. Court martial proceedings will be brought forth. them lads if we had a couple of if we had a several regiments of horse here this would be absolutely a butcher's yard when I don't let them settle don't let them settle <laughs> They're tired, but they fought valiantly here. Only a few men. That's all it needs. That's taking a real battering, that is there. Into position, gentlemen. Into position. Prepare to fire. Prepare to fire. Body right into the ranks. Those lines, lads. Ready for it. Come 
much, much more like it. Well done, lads. Well done. And now we close the door, we swing the door here. Ten men just trying to pick off what they can here. Nice trot, a nice canter behind them. Come on, break these fiends out, break them lads. First line! Ah. Yes! The rebellion crushed, my friends, the rebellion crushed. A sip of tea. That's victory. We lost 128. That's much, much more like it. So the statistics. Grand here, guards. Wonderful here. Look at this. This core here of elite troops really has done the damage. Wonderful to see. Actually, 33 here from the 12 pounders. Excellent to see. Now we can put an end to this rebellion. But if we need to move this back to Vienna, make sure we have that. We're going to use our cavalry here to destroy the points of war. Yes, we lost nothing at all. Victory is ours, and we're back into garrison of Zagreb. We are taking some hits here. Our goal, our iron mine here, is being taken hit, but we have to suffer these. These are nuisances, shall we say, <coughs> for the greater good. Now, has a rebellion been crushed? It has indeed. The cra military crackdown is now in effect. And thus, the rebellion is almost brought to its knees. Now, we know for a fact that the Dutch are probably very likely to attack next next turn. Slovakawa's diplomatic status. Paris is hostile with us. We're not really interested in trading with them. That would bring a host of problems. We are trading with the majority here. Russia is, we can't, their trade ports are full, so is Poland, unfortunately. But we are allied with Poland and Portugal and France. That promises are hostile with us. They're quite clearly not going to give up that. Austria is also hostile with us. But let's end the turn here, my friend. Let's look at our research here. We're getting quick, we're getting lime and sauerkraut here for the ability to build first rates. We're also getting here uh, agriculture in steam pumped land drainage, which will give us uh, growth, reduce food shortages. We're also getting here that ability to move closer and closer to quick lime shells, which is going to be carcass shot, which will give us access to a gunnery school. And we're also getting here the puddle for puddling furnaces, which are going to reduce the cost of artillery, but also increase the wealth from metal working shops, which you do have an abundance of at the moment. 
Now that should allow us to move into oh, we need Wealth of Nations. We need to upgrade a classical university as well to be able to get joint stock companies. Wealth of Nations is here. So we do need that classical university as soon as possible. But we have military matters to attend to. And let's end the turn and see what happens here, my friends. Look out for the Dutch, because they will be coming for us. Britain, who have stayed out of any quarrels. France and the Dutch are in... Afar, here we go. They're moving in, the forces are now available to move in. I guarantee you they'll attack us this turn. The winter of 1718 will be the time the Dutch attack. They're moving their forces into position. Prepare yourselves, my friends, because it's about to happen. There it is. There it is. Now, they're bringing in a huge amount of cavalry here. There's not going to be much good to them in the terms of a siege, but they do have Swiss line, plenty of Swiss line inventory. They've got grenadiers here as well, but the majority of it is made up with cavalry and their reserves are indeed the cavalry still and some artillery but they do have Swiss Grenadiers, Garrison and Gars, they're throwing everything they can at us at the moment they are bringing in a substantial amount of troops here a lot of it is cavalry which is fine by us, some of it though is elite troops, look at that Netherlands Marinia Marinia Corps, that's the elite, that is really is some of the finest the basic Dutch Marines as you can see, though, we do have a substantial garrison ourselves here. That some of them aren't, of course, quite up to spec here, but we have 115 cuirassiers here. That is staggering. We do have two artillery pieces, 130 men in that as well. We really do need to keep ourselves ready here. It's obviously not in our favour because they're able to draw in so much. They've got 3,641 in reserves here in reinforcing armies. Ours is 1,592, which has just been in a fight as well with that re rebel army. But it should be enough. We should be able to hold. We do have fortifications. We have the the in you know the uh, the the highest fortifications you can possibly get. Let's take this fight. Let's take this fight, my friends. This really will possibly set us on the path to being able to bring Vienna fully under our control once we. If we if we dispatch this Dutch assault, if we repel this Dutch assault, and we're able to bring our forces up to full strength, both those armies there, it will take a huge amount of Dutch forces to be able to wrestle Vienna from us. It really, really will. And that, my friends, is what we need to do. We need to hold this ground here until we can get ourselves back on our feet. We've quelled the, the, the rebellion. So the rebellion here in Austria has ended. If we can re repulse and repel this assault here by the Dutch that then allows us to replenish and bring ourselves up to full strength and maybe even get that army that we're currently um, putting together in Venice to bring that on to full strength and then we can use that then to maul and harass behind the enemy lines which is exactly what we need to do here this will not be an easy fight here but it's one that we have to take. Oh, ho, ho, ho. looks like it is a very, very cold night. And it is night time, my friends, and it's bitterly cold here. You can just tell. You can hear it in the wind. It's that northerly, that brutal, biting northern wind here. The wolves are out as well. But first of all, what we're going to do is get ourselves fully prepared here. Let's get everything we've got here on the parade ground so we know the strength we have. Fortunately, we were sensible enough to bring in these troops here that really will add a, a huge amount of backbone here. That incle includes the Marine Grenadiers here, the 1st Honorary Conquistador Regiment. Ah, the Spanish Infantry de Marina. We do have 115 Carassiers here. That is exceptional. It really is. Let's just put the uh, gentleman here outside. Uh, the regiment de Sevilla. Thankfully, we have brought them up to a reasonable strength. Let's pull these back here at the moment while we get ourselves. Let's 
sorted here. 13th Regiment. <clears throat> Guerrillas. Irregulars. Here. I wonder if we could use these on the outside, these gorillas, because they really would be fantastic hidden here on the outside, just mauling and harassing the troops as they move in. That really could be a, a, a fantastic... Maybe even drawing them onto the, the cavalry here. That would be actually maybe something we can do here. Now we've got these smaller regiments as well, but very, very experienced, which we're going to leave on the inside here. Also, these two cavalry regiments, which, have, as you can see, have been absolutely depleted extensively. Now, 138 men here in this regiment. Ah, 36 regiment, which is at full strength. Fusiliers, again, which are, are, are not full strength, but they are a good complement. And the owls are out as well, by the sounds of it. 46 men here, so again we've got these small regiments which we can use at our at our disposal here. Now, quite clearly the attack, because the forces are pointing this direction, the attack is going to probably come from this direction here, directly in front of us here, so we're going to make sure we have some very strong forces here. So we'll put the first grenadiers along here. I would also put, I think, the 5th Grenadiers along here. Oh, gen gentlemen, please. The Regimento, Regimento de Sil Sevilla. Just guarding this walkway here, but also keeping the wall very well guarded. We've got a few gaps in our lines, but we can't stretch that far. We have to be prepared to meet... We'll have the Corsican Legion here. Gentlemen, there will be court marshals if orders are not followed. <clears throat> we should also put the 36th Regiment here. We'll have the 1st Honorary Regiment of Gren Grenadiers are here guarding this particular causeway. 13th Regiment again guarding this causeway here. We're not going to leave anything to chance here, so the, the majority of our forces will be deployed. We'll have the Fusiliers here. We can, of course, deploy as we see fit, so these move, these are not fixed positions. We will just have one regiment here, just in case. 38th Regiment. I wonder if we could have the 38th Regiment here. Gen Gentlemen. Thank you. I think we'll put the gorillas out here. Oh, they're hidden. We'll put them on. I should put that there. Toggle the skirmish mode. Or is that actually we could we could actually leave that there and then we could move them back into the into the fort. Our general. Actually, leave back by here. We'll use the we we'll leave the cavalry in here as well, just to make sure if anyone will break through. We'll also put these gentlemen in reserve as well. Actually, let's just put. We'll keep these in reserve as well, just in case. And here as well. got these Karasi ears here as well. I think we're ready, my friends. We've got reserves, but we want to try and do as much damage and hold as possible as we can with the armies we've got available here. Let's start. Look at that. And behind us as well. Quite clearly behind us. So we need to deal with these behind us first. <coughs> oh, this is wonderful, sir. Doing us proud. They're doing us proud. Now what are these regiments doing here? 
Here they come. Here they come. We have to be vigilant here. The first thing we need to do is dispatch this demi cannons. We have to move. Look at those carassiers there. This is going to be a brutish fight, it really is. We've also got, they've got a lot of cavalry, but whilst we've got these walls here, that will not serve them well. What we will do is we'll just move these gentlemen here, just to make sure we can... Ah, 15% already. percent here. We have to be careful that we don't lose these forces here. Fusiliers. Prepare yourselves, let's prepare yourselves. Oh look at that. Rapid deployment here. I think we have to redeploy these forces here. They're quite clearly going to try and storm. They're broken, but it's brought on these. It's a sacrifice, but it's brought these troops. In here, we're going to be outflanked anywhere at all. I'm going to take care of some of these lances here. I'm um, looking. This is a bloodbath out here, sir. Got the Marine Corps here coming in. shattered but that's that's not fine but we can pick them off now that they've moved away from the main body we can pick them off oh look at this this is an absolute joy to see it really is hold that hold Winning decisively. Oh, look at that, they're broken, a few of years. Here they come. This is why we guard this.
And we've also managed to bring all of their, pretty much all of their cab. Look at this, they've taken an absolute pasting here. Say, gentlemen, fire. Let's get these gentlemen up in the walls. Gentlemen, this is not some kind of holiday move. Infanteria. Corsica, let's bring the Spanish in, Marines in. If they want to fight, then they'll be obliged, sir. Send them back. Send them to hell, lads. Oh, this is going to get bloody. This is going to get very bloody, very quickly. Let's get up on the wall. Let's get up on the wall. We've got them. We've got them, lads. Well done. Oh, double time, Jonah, double time! They're gonna try and come through here, they're gonna try and come through here. Come on, close those doors, close those gates, lads. If they get in here, close the door, close the door. Close the gates, close the gates! Goodness sake, someone close the gates.
Yes, it's closed. Throwing everything they can this year. And they've still got more coming in as well. She's what he is. of the attack of our defence here. Stand fast! Look at that, they're not even moving even though that's how wonderful they are. They are going to break. What the blaze is they doing here? those fusiliers fast. Get on those fusiliers! Come on, Grenadiers, 
Please look sharp. Fire! Of course they're shaking, of course they're shaking. Hold that hold. Forty percent damage, my goodness. Absolutely brutal. This cavalry is vexing though. Oh my goodness me, by the time he reaches it. Could we possibly deal with this here? Let's see if we can. Oh my goodness me, look at this shambolic deployment here. Look lightly, lads! Cells useful here. This has been nothing short of brutal. Now then, can we pick off some of this artillery here? Or even some of these smaller units here? We need to draw in some of this cavalry here. Oh my goodness me, this has been brutal. They're taking an absolute pasting here. Come on, then, gentlemen. Ah! 
stick in the mouth, bitch, like bitch. That's it, that's picked every single regiment off. <laughs> they are just pouring in troops here. That's firing there, but where's it firing upon? 12% here, 20% here. Fantastic, what a, what a wonderful marksmanship here. Yeah. Oh well well, at last they make their move. done a wonderful job here. We're going to lose any more of them. Look at that, they're going to try and sneak around here. Not while we've got breath in our body, they're not. What the blazes is going on here?
Dave, komm. My goodness me, this has been an absolute bad car. Try and break into there. We cannot send them packing either. If they get in here, they're going to capture this bridge here. We've got to get these grenadiers up there as quickly as possible. Move, let's move. Twice about that. Oh, what a shot! Ah. They can just see the smoke and the defense is rising here in the mists, the cold, brutal mists. Come on, you fiends, try and climb this wall here. Valdeck infantry. My goodness, we look at the look at the loss of life here. They have thrown absolutely everything they can at us here. and guards here. We must be training with their forces. We must be.
percent here, fifty percent. If we see a breach here, we're in trouble. Gods. bring down all of our forces
these infantry forces once we've done that. Garrison guards, my goodness me. What? Foot guards, engineers. Wow, look at those foot guards, engineers. Wow. They look absolutely fantastic. Oh, 61%. This is going to go down very hard momentarily. They're obviously bringing those guns there to bear. Yeah. This, is, this wall is going to collapse. When it gets to about 80%, we're going to pull these forces out and prepare to stand our ground. I think that's what we'll do anyway. Let's get them out. We're not gonna we're not gonna risk. This gentleman have been given an order. I expect to be followed through. Just tough as nails. We've got more moving in. They're gone. That's more like it. We're going to prepare for the inevitable collapse of this wall. These gentlemen can move back up. Right, damn. Storm these walls. Storm these walls. come from. Looks like they're stuck on here. But that almost took us by surprise there. We've got nothing to defend those walls there because everything's in the front here. out on masonry will not work.
up on those walls, Jimmy. Get up on those walls. Oh, don't tell me just don't tell me just strolling. Me. This has been a brutal fight, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. to hold out here. What the? What, how? how? Oh my goodness me, they're going to storm through here. close. That was close. Last hurrah. We're not going to lose this wall. Not a chance. Ceasefire. We can't give this gate up here. Got to pull these men off this wall here.
that. engineers That's Oh my goodness me, what a fight this has been. This has been absolutely unbelievable. What a fight! This has been mind-boggling. Stop, gentlemen, stop. We have lost forces, but we must replenish here. But my word, what a fight this has been. Push these engineers away, sir. We can't let them capture them. Look at the fight on the bridge here. They got axes. Look at that, he's just keeping him at bay by himself here. One man against fifty. Oh. oh, he's gone. Look at that, we're cl slowly clearing the bridge. What the places are you doing? Gonna get in here, get in here! Charging absolutely nothing. Well done. Get in there. <sighs> what a fight that was. What a fight. Let's get this fort and fight finish my friends because we've been fighting this for well over an hour well over nearly an hour we've done it we've done it we've pushed them back here yeah, the engineers shattered looks like they're going to send in now the expatriates is one last hurrah but my word look at the bloodbath here it has been 
extraordinary absolutely extraordinary now they're going to try and attack us here five minutes five minutes left will they use the ropes here to try and f move against us here looks like they're going to yes they are they're going to try and launch a f last final assault this is the last regiment of foot they've got here we wiped everything else out they're not going to try and capture one of these points here to try and open the gates What a fight this has been. Nothing short of exemplary. The defence here, look at this. We're just going to pour the troops in here. Let's take the fight to them. Thankfully we've got these, these drawers here, these bridges here, these walkways we can just move along and, and really push back here not having to step foot outside these defences mind you they've taken a heck of a pounding here 85% here come on lads, come on now Excuse any noise in the background, my friends. You can probably tell whom that might be. What a fight this is. What a fight. We've pushed them back every single time. it's going to go unless we end this now we're going to lose this corner fort here Infantry troops. I, I have no idea what these gentlemen are doing here, but 179 of them have suddenly appeared from nowhere. And these gentlemen as well. Look at this. They're trying to move around here now because the gates are open. Double time! my friend we did it oh what a fight what a defense that was that was magnificent it was nothing short of magnificent they lost 4,759 I got set look at that we lost 1700 that's still a lot statistics here 489 kills by the grenadiers they were the absolute backbone of our defense there look at the kills here absolutely nothing short of magnificent look at all these armies that yes away with you sir we have now given ourselves potential breathing space here. But straight away they're moving in. Oh my goodness me, what a fight that was. We have absolutely vanquished here this assault force. 
We could even take Hungary. We could even take Hungary. Oh, that would be wonderful if we could take Hungary. If we could take Hungary. What a what a position we would be in then. What a position. That would be incredible if we did take if we did take Pol uh, Hungary. Poland taking its time here. sure what they're up to here but hopefully Poland is not going to give us any difficulties What an incredible fight. What an incredible fight that was. Well, my friends, I'll take a phone call there, but look at that. Enemy raiding Salzburg, which is fine. But, my friends, we're going to end this episode right there, I think. Austria on strike, of course. Enemy raids. Ah. Fidel Satantalia. General has been dispatched. Yes, Venice. A huge amount of work done here at the moment, which is wonderful to see. But my friends, as you can see, we've finally dispatched this real strong Dutch force here. We might even be able to take Austria, um, Hungary here, and that would give us access here to the last Austri Austrian uh, vanguard, as it were, in the east. That would be absolutely fantastic for us to do that, my friends. But that's going to happen next episode. And again, my friends, the Council's advice will be crucial here. What do we do now that we've dispatched and thrown back this Dutch force here? We really need to reinforce and reinvigorate the defenders and, indeed, the attackers here for the war against the Dutch here. It has been brutal. And, of course, we've got this Austrian force moving up probably to mere Sally Forth here and trying to assault... Uh, Venice here, but we are, my friends, going to stand strong once again here. But again, the council's advice will be absolutely crucial here. So again, please keep the comments coming down below. It's been absolutely wonderful. You've, you, the council has driven this campaign to where it is now. We are on the brink of success here. If we can take Hungary, if we can sort of unite these two main sort of cities, these two regions together here, and bring Austria and Hungary together, we've effectively cut the sort of the, the front line in two here, and we then have a solid m front to meet the oncoming Dutch attacks. But my friends, as always, I'm going to rely firmly on the council's advice here, and it has been wonderful thus far, my friends, and I know it will continue to be so. But as always, my friends, hope you're having a great weekend. Um, whatever you're doing, please be safe, having a great time. But until next time, my friends, bye for now.